Shout out to Trap News, back to free and money bag in the studio. I know one thing. Like you I, work at Chick fil A in the parking lot. Fuck with my vape one more time, me and your tall ass gonna get the slap box. And I, and I got oil in the car. I oil up for our fight. I'll beat your ass <laughs> when you get to that car. <laughs> <laughs> well, you been that corner, I'll be beating your ass. I'll be all the Before you get to the vending machine, of... you know, put the bait down. I ain't never seen a nigga who so addicted to a battery pack. That's all, is it? Let me do me. That's all I'm saying. You was one of them little kids that used to lick the battery when you look like, <sighs> to see if it's still your tongue. Yeah, I did. I ain't gonna lie. I know you did. I was freaky hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you sticking yeah, your tongue in a little hole on the side yeah, of the yeah, battery. Yeah, I'm freaky Uh. Yeah, I gotta keep your head on the shrill between. Let me hit the channel 85 out. Yeah. Trap news. Trap news, boy, nigga. Trap news. Yeah. 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 Live. Trap news. Trap news. Okay, well, welcome back to The Trap. This is Trap News. I'm Brie Renee, straight from the A. And it's your boy, Moneybag. Fellas, please be a good dad. So your son won't wind up being a... <laughs> a gay-ass uh, bitch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Because I was going to say, please be a good dad. That's so mediocre. You could have came so much harder. Please be a good dad so your but son won't you end up being a... But then you did come up the a... rear... What is that? <laughs> okay. Ooh, uh, shout out to the LBGT uh, community. I'm an ally, yeah. honestly. Um, anyways, speaking of allies, five year old foreign, and I don't know how to say his name, Anwell, and Anuella. Anuel. Anwell AA. Anyways, they attended Donald Trump's rally in Pennsylvania to show their support in, of Donald Trump, of course. Um, five year foreign, you know, he a rapper. Yep. Yes, he, which is like, boy. Anyways, he has been um, vocal in his support of former president. Oh, that's old boy who baby mama went on the internet and was like, he was on some. I think so. Yeah, she was like, when they be fucking, he slipped up and was like, give me that dick. <laughs> I swear to God. She said yeah, that. Yeah, I swear to God, I wish we had a clip for that to play at you right, with the Trump rally. But go ahead, I fuck with Fabio, his music hard. You right, his music do be hard. No, that ain't. Us, it's hard. Point. That's the nigga from New York? Yeah. Yeah, right. That's yeah. Right. yeah anyway, how much you think that they these Trump checks is, is clearing for? Whatever it is, nigga pay me, I'll show up. Shit. You'll I'll show up. Hell yeah, I'm before I nigga pay me. You don't even fuck with Trump for real. I mean, I don't fuck with nobody, but I'll fuck with the money though. So if they pay me, I'll pull up. But don't you think <clears> that's like kinda like irresponsible? What you mean? I mean you do so many other irresponsible things. I don't know why I would think you would give a fuck now, but <laughs> like, see, what? like like having canned soda at on a desk, or smoking that battery pack. Mind your business. Or getting a GED. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. You do a lot of So you mean to tell me if Trump gave you 50000 you wouldn't go there and... 50? Yeah. Look how she said that. But Brie got a price. <laughs> Brie got a price. If she repeat, I was going to say that wasn't If she repeats that number, she know what the fuck she <laughs> doing. 50? Hell yeah. <laughs> so 50000 you wouldn't go? I would say 50000 No, I'm not going. You ain't going for 50? Mm-mm. I'm not going to lie to the American people for $50,000. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry. I have you more of a You is 100000 <laughs> <laughs> What I got to do? I got to do. in there shucking and jiving, buck dancing, <laughs> knee slapping. I'm not going to get up here and say what I'm voting for. If I'm, if, I'm not going to say I'm voting for him if I'm really not. I'm just not. You voting. Who you voting for? Tell I'm, I'm really going to vote for Coppola. Okay. Me and too. I said her name right. Anyways, good. You can't vote. What are you talking about me I too? I can vote. Anyway, um, oh, we got a clip for that? Oh, for 50, that's all you got to do is be spotted, walking through no, the crowd? No, don't change your mind, no. Oh, I'll, I'll walk through the crowd for a honey. Yeah. I'll do, do a little, uh, little walkthrough for a honey. You'll do a fire axe. <laughs> <laughs> fire way too low, bro. Don't, don't do me like that. Come Anyways, um, speaking of too low, and insignificant, I mean, insufficient. The reparations bill died on final day of California's legislative session despite urgent protests. After hours of fierce lobbying protests and uncertainty, Saturday in California, lawmakers killed two bills that supported and, ha and we had hoped would help repair harms committed against blacks in the res black residents and their descendants. I'm sorry, I couldn't read that last sentence. My mm. eyes went a little. 
But anyways, um, basically, it was two bills that were up, and they were we thought we're gonna get. I never thought that. Man, actually. I mean, y'all know these folks ain't gonna give a shit. Yeah, man. I kind of knew that they wasn't, but it, it was a lot of lobbying and protests going on, so it, it seemed like we were finally getting some headway. But actually, they didn't. They actually killed the two bills, and advocates were eager to see that the legislative would pass the Senate bills 1403 and 1331, which would have created a new state agency to oversee reparations and a fund to help support this legislative black caucus, which represents the black members of the state legislature, confirmed that lawmakers will not move forward with those two key proposals. The first, SB 1403, which would establish a state agency to oversee the state's reparations efforts. The other, SB 1331, that would establish a state fund for reparations. So the blocking of these bills has angered protesters who've been in the Capitol Rotunda all day yelling at lawmakers in the assembly to bring the bills up. Niggas gonna fuck the money up anyway, let's be real. I am. For sure you are. Yeah, you are too. Mm -mm. You going on trips, you going on, man, what you gonna do with the money? First of all, getting a vacation and enjoying life would not be fucking up the money of reparations. You know. my, my ancestors <clears throat> died for the right for me to travel. How? Slavery. They, Your ancestors was the reason was slavery was. No, the fuck, they wasn't. <laughs> I have you know this is a real fact. America sends Israel six billion dollars a year for the Holocaust. What we get? Six billion. Six would billion. Would it be? Yes, and we get food stamps. We get. Six they could billion. give us six billions one year for the Holocaust, bro. Yeah. yeah I sure. mean, I'm not comparing bads, but I just feel no, like you the bads. bad that was happening in your home is uh, worse than the bad that happened in somebody else's home. That's comparing bads. That's what you just did. Just no, did. but I'm saying handle your bad first before you try to fix somebody else's bad. Mm -hmm. That's the point. They don't want to. But they yeah. do do that if y'all ain't know that. Well, that's that. fucked up. Yeah. And very much like American history. So yes. let's just send it over to Chris for a Christory lesson. Set it out. I told you. See what I'm saying? I got wait on Joe. <laughs> Set it off. Set it off. Thank you, Moneybag and Bree, for bringing it over to me. Well, bitch, you going to jail. Let's go ahead and talk about it, people. <laughs> I think they're going to have to change the name of Lake Lanier to Lake Get Your Ass In There If You Want to. <laughs> because I'm telling you right now, since 1956, Lake Lanier is like 0 for 700 on the people that was in there. Ain't too many people warned against it. Only person that warned against Lake Lanier is uh, Quez from Travis Porter when we did the Sunshine On Me video a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all remember that? Like, damn, let the sun shine on me. Hey, hey. Travis Porter, nigga, I was, I was a hater in the video, so we probably got a clip of that video. Hey, 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 the sunshine on me. Travis Porter. How they name? How his name Travis Porter? Which one of them is it though? Which one of them Travis? Is it you? It's you. Or is it you? Oh, y'all trying to claim one dude. Travis Porter gonna whoop y'all ass when he see y'all, dog. I know him. No life jacket. You know what I'm talking about? They ain't got no life jacket. How you gonna be on the water with no life jacket? Somebody got a couple. Yeah, man. Y'all remember I was in there like, man, get out of here. How y'all gonna be Travis Porter? It's three of y'all. Which one of y'all Travis? You know what I mean? But yeah. But anyway, we was at Lake Lanier. And this is when I found out some history about Lake Lanier. Lake Lanier used to be a town called Oscarville. And Oscarville was a town definitely full of black people that somehow mysteriously disappeared. That's what they be saying on the History Channel. Mysteriously disappeared means so white folks came through there and tried to lynch the black people. God damn it. I was going to say lynch niggas, but we ain't never been no niggas. But that's what they call it, the story of them niggas that got lynched down in Oscarville. And it's Gwinnett. One time y'all hear about Gwinnett, y'all think about the Migos. Well, look here, homie. These Migos right here, back in the day, they was not playing with us, man. And I can tell you, I go by names here. Um, the story was, there was a, the story was, uh, 1912, there was a white girl who was found dead. It's always, God damn it, always a white bitch. And then they gonna try to live. They've been doing this shit since, I, I would say since Emmett Till, but Emmett Till was 1955, you know what I'm saying? Thankfully, um, T.R.M. Howard came in, you know, and assisted the people with uh, Emmett Till Mama coming down to make it national news, you know what I mean? That was 1955, but we going back to 1912, and that was in Jackson, Mississippi, Money, Mississippi. We into Georgia, Oscarville, Georgia, you know what I'm saying, which be present-day Gwinnett County, you know what I mean? But during this time, they took three black people and put them all into one case. Since they found a white girl out there, the search party found a white girl, there was a black man out there named Ernest Knox, he was about 17. 
he was just out there at the crime scene, you know what I mean, just like everybody else looking. And um, there was a mirror out there, and they asked who the mirror it was, it was his mirror. So they connected him to the crime scene, and then they tried to go get his uncle, and then another black woman. So it was three people that they sent to the Fulton County Jail. They sent them to Fulton County Jail. Next thing you know, a whole lynching party came through and tried to take them out of the jail, you know what I mean, to kill them. Literally, you feel me? So when we talk about lynching, and I know people like, man, everybody talking about the history of slavery and lynching. The history of slavery and lynching are two different things. Slavery is slavery. And it's lynching and everything going on. But the real definition of lynching probably came about after slavery. You feel me? This is supposed to be in a time where people are supposed to be civilized. So when people get to saying, make America great again, you got to tell me what year you're saying you're you making them great. Because we right here in 1912, right outside Atlanta. And it wasn't looking too tough out there, you know? But that's what happened, man. Shout out to those people out in Oscarville. If you don't know the history of that, I think you should find that out. And this happened in a lot of places too. I'm from Alabama. It happened in the city called Wetumpka, Alabama, down where I'm from too. You know. But rest in peace to everybody that passed away in the lake. I'm going to really stay out of that because uh, like I told you, it was 700 people since 1956 that passed away. We in 2024. How many people has it been this year that died? Three? Three? Oh, that's it. This is baseball. That's strike three. And I'm out of the water. I'm out that bitch. I'm out this whole conversation. You best to believe that, man. What? Three? Man, hey, I'm gone, dog. I ain't even swimming no more. It ain't even, the year ain't even over with yet. That means somebody trying to jump in there before criminal. It ain't gonna be me. Well, thank y'all for tuning in today. Um, wait, wait, there's one more thing that happened. Something else happened. Um, I don't know what was going on with the political atmosphere, but something happened where some black people came, talked about reparations. And then some other black people was like, we need to stop talking about reparations and talk about something else. And I'm here to say, no, we do not. We need to stay on reparations. You hear me? If anybody don't want, the, the dumbest thing that I ever heard was somebody say, black people don't need no reparations. We do not need no reparations. Because black people ain't going to do nothing but spend their money in and give it back to the white folks. Well, if you don't want your reparations, tell them people give it to me. You get in contact with 85,000, tell them to give Chris Edith off Jones your shit if you don't want it. I take it. God damn it. Shit. And that's my time. Thank you. Back over to you, money bag and free. Coming back, T.I. is set to become a grandfather was, for a third time after he announces his son, my boy King, having a baby. That's right. Clap for my young nigga. That's right. My boy King getting himself some sex. Is that what we're clapping for? That's, I mean, clearly, like... That's my young nigga. I feel you can't do no wrong in my eyes. So what, nah, what can't is, do no wrong, King? Got all King, of them can't, can't do, do no, no wrong? wrong in my eyes. Okay. King, not my nigga. Well, T.I. definitely disagrees. He told um, King that... With, T.I. T- T- didn't fall. T.I. told King that he was like, he gonna, when he had his son, he gonna make sure that he make him the greatest gangster of all time to like pay him back for being so bad when he was growing up. Like, you know how your grandma, your grandma. Oh, King, good. King by what, 19 now? 20? 20, 21. Somewhere between 19 and 22. Okay. Man, shit, man. Young wild nigga age. It's time. You know, you, you, know, you popping. It's not time. That's... You popping, you fucking, you know what I'm saying, man? That... Oh. Fuck it, nigga, make some more, nigga. Don't leave the youth up like this, please. Man, take, I just realized this shit, We're man. We're supposed to be setting this example. Condoms are for young niggas, man. What? No. Take that condom. Not take that condom off. Put the condoms back on. That's the problem. Take that condom off. Bust that nut, young niggas. <laughs> no. <laughs> we do not support that message. I here do. on Trap News at 85 South. Condoms um, for young niggas, man. I ain't even for to play this game, man. I'm in the age now. I, I refuse to look in the bitch's face and tell her the pussy was good. I don't know. I don't know. Because you wore a condom? Yeah, it's, it's horrible. Let's be real. Like, I'm at the age now. I'm 36. Uh, how much more longer nigga got to be here, man? Fuck it. Get it to me. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I done lived a long good life. You know, the most high been good to me these 36 years. You know what I'm saying? For most good. I ain't mad for the put on no condom, man. Fuck it. I'm not I can't. Goddamn. Oh, man, I'm my not, God. Man, I ain't putting on no condom, man. Fuck that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we, we got gonna, a video for uh, T.I.? We're going to pray for you. Let's take a look at this clip. Jesus. You know. <laughs> And uh, he just uh, became a father. So I, I got two grandchildren. Now. Wow, congrats. Yeah, I got two granddaughters. I got a grandson. Why draw it like this the first wow. time he heard King's about it? King's about to have a son. Like, King's about to have a son. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I told him, I'm going to make this the greatest gangster of all time. <laughs> I will raise this child to <laughs> to torture you the way right, that you tortured me. <laughs> I promise you there will be an indictment in this young one. Nice thinking the indictment. 
I told you, see, I didn't agree with you. That, 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 that's not him not agreeing. He with that. He cool with that. He ain't tripping. All right. He ain't tripping. Well, we're, hey, man, congratulations, King. Hey, you already know how I get in there, my boy. But we want to say we're condoms, okay? Oh, that, man. Catch that shit. No, don't catch it. Um, Tina wearing a condom. Yeah, you. yeah. Go ahead. This is getting sticky. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of wearing condoms, um, NLE Choppa performed at an Atlanta Black Pride. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying he wore the condom. That was a bad thing. Right? That was horrible. Yeah, I didn't mean to. Speaking do that. of barebacking, <laughs> NL. <laughs> Speaking of raw dogging, NLE Chopper at Atlanta's Black Pride, God is love and love brings STDs. <laughs> oh, unity. I mean, well, I, I think in my mind it correlated because gays have always been big proponents for wrapping it up, safe sex. And I'm trying to tell you to practice safe sex. It's just. Nah. Right. Hey, uh, I fuck with NLE Chopper, man. Um, he performed his um, slut season. He took his slut season movement to Atlanta Black he didn't Pride. He that. If I was a bad bitch, I would have fucked me too. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? I bet that nigga was fully clothed. They, if I see any video, you took your shirt off, my boy. Oh my god. I think he actually had a shirt off. We got a video. Do we have a clip? We got a clip. A lot of motherfuckers that ask me, man, you a rapper? What you doing at a club like this? Well, I say, you wanna know why? I ain't gonna lie, every day, man, we wake up and we find acceptance every day. Whether it's our skin color, whether it's our weight, whether it's our hunger, whether it's what our sexuality is. And listen, at the end of the day, I believe in one thing. And I feel like everybody is equal, no matter how they, how they drink their water, how they eat their food, how they piss. Bad bitch. Yeah. I wanna fuck me too. He ain't doing all of those extra shit now. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. he, now it's like keep your same sex. Uh, keep nigga. that energy. Yeah. Anyways, um, he basically took to the LGBTQ ce celebratory weekend here in Atlanta, showing love to the queer community for his support. And he did sing the song "Slut Me Out." Mm. He did sing "Slut Me Out." or rap was let me out. He officially released, uh, released that song in April, and he also took to social media to thank his queer listeners for giving the track virality. And he also said that he a heterosexual male, and if you are that and you know that, then what's the issue? God bless. <sighs> Yeah. I like that. Y'all should. I like when straight men support, because it's like, I'm straight, and they money green, so that's all that matter. And they boot a whole brown. <laughs> <laughs> Money green, Buddha hole brown. That's Shout out to you, NLE Chop. <clears throat> You're ridiculous as well. So let's just go to Justin, where we got damn dickless. We got damn dickless. Appreciate that bag of On today's episode of We Got Damn Dickless, we are in McDuffie County, Georgia, where this, huh, I don't know what to call him, the, the, the fucking mayor or, or OG, but whatever you want to call him, after you hear this right here, this is up to you. But he has been arrested for throwing a bottle of fucking Seagram's gin on the side of the road for the prisoners to get. Now, uh, if he would have threw anything else over there, I probably would have been, you know, all right with it. I probably would have been on this side. But why the fuck you throwing a bottle of Seagram's gin on the highway for some damn inmates for? You finna start a goddamn riot in that mother man. Uh, uh, somebody was going to get something in there. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, look. On, on June 6th, the Thompson Police Department requested the GBI conduct an investigation into an allegation that Cranford gave alcohol to inmates on June 4th, according to the GBI. The case was, pre the case was presented to Midduffie County Grand Jury, and a grand jury arrest warrant was issued for Cranford. According to the indictment, Cranford drove to Rippey's store and bought a 750 milliliter bottle of Seagram's Extra Dry Gin and left it in a ditch along Cobham Road in the path of a work crew of state prisoners from the Jefferson County Correctional Institution. We spoke to one of the workers who says Cranford is a regular at least twice a week. Sometimes it may be three, but usually at least twice a week. So that means this man been going out there throwing God knows what, because if the liquor store closed, he probably done threw some moonshine over there. So no telling how many asses done been whipped and ripped in that jail because he been throwing some goddamn liquor on the side of the road. Now, uh, Mayor, I was on your side until I found out it was gin you were throwing out there on the side of the goddamn road. You could have threw some Prince Albert and some fucking uh, some tobacco or, or some on the side of the damn road other than that goddamn gin. But I also want to say 
It's some more crime you sons of bitches could have been looking at instead of this man throwing a ball to goddamn gin out. Trying to get these inmates, you know, a, a little R and R while they, they serve their goddamn time. Now, uh, I'm not excusing what he did because it, it, right is right, wrong is wrong. But what I will say is he didn't get caught. Somebody told on this motherfucker because white people don't get caught. Especially not doing nothing that minor. Somebody told him, so I want to know who didn't get their bottle or or who he pissed off. Because that's the only way that this man got caught. Now, that's neither here nor there. It's for goddamn ridiculous that this man threw a bottle of Seagram's gin on the side of the fucking highway when he could have... Alright, fuck it. That has been my episode of Goddamn Ridiculous for today. Back at you, Bag and Bree. Thank you, Justin, for that Goddamn Ridiculous uh -huh. news. This nigga is ridiculous mm -hmm. here. Anyways, um... It's time for sports. You know, this is my favorite season of the year. It's, it's, it's football season. That's my favorite time of the year, you know. Uh, NFL record is set to be, I guess, broken or whatever. We, we have 15 black quarterbacks that are going to be starting in 2024 season on week one. So we got to get it up. I feel like about yeah. damn time, like, black quarterbacks be better than, I ain't going to say all that. But Quarter black. They, right, quarterbacks, we can, we can run and throw. But anyways. And a little prejudice. As their Patriots name, Jacoby Brissett, started for opener that brought the total number of black quarterbacks in the league starting to 15. Them white folk, they took a long time to go on, go on, bow on out. Now, y'all know, y'all know them white folk, they can throw the ball, I get that. But other than that, that's it. Yeah, for sure. I know they were like, man, fuck it, man. That, that's all they had to hold on to. I feel like if you were racist, <clears throat> you shouldn't like sports. Right, because how you got a team and I, and we make the, all the teams? Right. <clears throat> like, well, that's kind of like that's why they creating. That's why they're creating all these new dumbass fucking uh, sports because they know we ain't coming to do that shit. Like, but it always a nigga somewhere that just like, yeah, I fucking love cricket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pickleball? Pickleball? I fucking kill at pickleball. Radic ball? You right. guys are playing radic ball? Yeah. Anyways, we golf was there. It's the Tiger game, then. Right. Now, when we get a black, we ain't heard shit about no black hockey players. It was a few. Was it Wayne Gretzky? That was a. I made that up. That's a white man. Okay, well, I didn't watch that shit. As you notice, I don't have any. Sit down. Pants on. <laughs> for that dumbass remark right there. How the fuck am I supposed to know who that is? Wayne, okay? I had to let them folks see my kneecaps. See the cap. <laughs> Go ahead. Anyways. Wayne um, Grist is black. Wow. I ain't never met a white man named Wayne. What? Wayne, that's a black person name. John Wayne. That's a white man. Dwayne. Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> I think it said Dwayne. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, John Wayne is Wayne together. Is Wayne. Okay, moving on in sports. Uh, Ricky Sensation Angel Reese sets a single season WNBA rebound record. Come on, Angel Reese. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's been turning up on the ground lately, too. Go ahead. Yeah, she's she getting a little sex pill. Yeah, she man. up here with a little cheeks out. Yeah, that what that that what that that money do. Yeah. They say that I heard she was fucking with dirt. Yeah. Dirt? She fucking with dirt? Uh, somebody in Chicago, uh, G Herbo, one of them niggas. G Herbo. <laughs> Probably, I don't know. But anyways, now she's a WNBA record holder for the most rebounds in a single season. She grabs her 405th rebound, rebound and still eight games remaining in the season. So she gonna get she more going more than that. She going crazy. Right, 405? Like, it's like, is anybody else even on the court? Oh, God. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> That's WNBA for you. <laughs> Anyways, Reese, the AKA Barbie, holds the record for the most consecutive double double performances with 15. What's double double mean? Double dribble. <clears throat> oh, like when you got double numbers and double stats. There you go. <laughs> yes, I remember. Okay, she's the only rookie to hold. Did you know that Michael Vick was Pakistani? Shut the fuck up. No. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> she's the only WNBA player to put up 20 or more rebounds in three consecutive cons. Contest. One more hand clap for her. That's I fuck with I fuck with Angelique. She fine. Yeah, she doing her yeah, thug dizzle. We hope Blake is safe out there on these streets. Blake's Let's... still at court. Damn. <clears throat> He's been in court for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Free you, Blake. Let's take it to Blake the Great out there on the streets. Yeah, oh, man, they be trying to knock a nigga down, man. 
I ain't gonna say day, it's just one person, my baby mama, she tried to get me locked up, but I got out of jail and I'm back shooting trap new the next day. Bitch, what you gonna do? Thank you, money bag and Bree, for sending it over to the kid. Hey, baby, baby, how you doing? There go my sister right there. Oh, OG, what's up, baby? Hold on, hold on, sister. Let me get that dough for you, beautiful queen. Let me get, uh, hold, let me get that dough. Don't touch that dough now. What's up, little bro? What's your name, man? Uh, Andrew. Where you from? Hold on, man. Come in. I'm be. Yeah, we in the hurry. We got some. Nephew. Yeah, yeah. Nephew. What's up, baby? This trap news. 85. What's up? These my people right here, man. This my guy right here, man. Oh, I can't get you on camera. Not in the store. Yeah. Come outside the store. What you want me to do? Man, I want to interview you, man. Come on I'll out the side the store, you man. Need some money first. Man, you ain't made. Man, come look, man. Hey, man. All right now. Okay, it's all good. Need some money, brother. Come on, man. We want to interview you, man. Did you put, did you put uh, Big Mama on the news? Yeah, man. We got Big Mama on the news, man. Big Mama said you ain't been panning. Is that true? No. So you been paying Big Mama for put up on a video? Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, take my buddy on the camera. Come on in. Oh, shit, boy, what the fuck you got on? Hey, hey, did my boo boo Oh, boy, that boy is dressed in his pajamas, boy. That boy, that nasty. That's a nasty man. Hey, I'm going to come on in there and steal some Tiger Port, nigga. <laughs> Look at this snitch ass nigga right here. Wipe the windows, nigga. Better wipe no motherfucking window. What's up, OG? You all right? How you doing, baby? You blessed? You getting that money out today? He don't like to talk. He like to call the police on people. He always called the police on me, so I want to fuck with him. OG! How you doing today, baby? My name is Blake the Great. I'm here with Channel 85 Trap News. Yes, sir. Uh, it's been a reports going around. Um, Cascade and inside of Atlanta that a guy in a uh, silver Lexus. Yeah, that's me. I'm the one did it. I did everything. I sure did. I so, sure did. Yeah, got me. So you've been now what you got person? me for? Tell me what you got me for. So listen. Then, All bro. I can get, where the girls at? I'm looking for them right now. I'm saying you. Yeah. I'm looking for them right now. Now, don't, don't tease me. Hey, girl, you want them? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Hey, no, no, no. hey, 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 sister. Let somebody sister, come here, sister. You got to be bad. She bad now. How she much you paying? Bad. I don't know. It all depends on how bad she is and where she'll go for. The low low. I'm paying the low low. I'm, the, I'm in the hood. You said the hood. I'm paying the low low. So y'all get them right, all right? Y'all get them right and get them right right now. Tell her she look real good. I go put my teeth in. <laughs> smile one time. Tell her she, nah, I ain't smiling. Nah, I ain't smiling. I ain't smiling. I ain't, smiling. I ain't, no I ain't tea, got man. nothing to smile about. You see my empty. My, my seat empty. Now, when you put a girl in here, I'll smile for you. I got something for you. And then I tell her I got a tea, too. I got somebody for you. Trap 5 News, y'all. Man, Channel 85 I'm News. I'm out. Channel 85 News. I'm out, okay? All right, baby. Hold it down, OG. Back to the trap, the ATL. That's you me. You know that, baby. Love you, baby. All right, love you, too, baby. <laughs> All right, now. I see you be out here in these streets for real. What's up, big brother? What's up with it? You all right, gangster? Man, stand down, man. Yeah. Huh? Ain't bullshit, ain't it? What? Ain't bullshit? Yeah. Nothing. What you mean, nigga? I don't, I don't sell weed, bro. Hold on, bro. You see, I'm on. But this channel, this channel, 85 news, bro. You know what I'm saying? So right now, you trying to ask me to buy you some weed? Nah. No. Yes, you is. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I said, what you smoking on, nigga? Bro, I'm not smoking on no weed. Say no more. Okay, so what you got in your pockets? Nah, what you got in your pockets? I ain't got nothing in my pockets. Say no more. Okay, I just need to make sure you're not the police or nobody. Can Hell I? Nah, you twelve. Uh, nigga. Yeah. They go a pack of blunt right there. Yeah. 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 Hold it down, OG. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who truck this is right here? I just hopped out this truck to hop in that truck. <laughs> hey, buddy. Let me get two dollars. Hey, appreciate you, nigga. Well, you like a brother, nigga. Oh, my God. Yeah, man, we be now, man. Listen, man, this channel 85 yeah. 
news, man. You know what I'm saying? It's trap news. Yeah, we report all, we report all the news, man. Yeah. So tell us what's going on in your hood. What's some bullshit shit. going on in your hood? All the bullshit going on on Southside. Side. Like what, bro? You gotta shit. tell, bro. Uh, we need to snitch right bitch. Now. Matter of fact, I just got hit yesterday. A nigga tapped my shit and then dip. And then dip. What kind of car he drive? I don't even know, but just know, nigga, I catch it, bro. No cap, bro. I was on the net. I was, I, was chasing, I was chasing the wrong nigga for 15 minutes. What you gonna Finish. do? If somebody tap that motherfucker again today. What you gonna do? Come on, 85 new. Come on now. 85 new. Come on now. I see what you did exactly. now. Yeah, exactly. you brother. Yeah, exactly. Shut that goddamn door, nigga. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, All right now. Oh, gee, I see you now. You better be putting more than five dollars in that big ass goddamn top hole, nigga. Hey, hey. That bitch look like an anime. Say it ain't so. Brother, Hulk Hogan, Hulkamania, where you been, Hulkamania? Come here, brother. What's your name? Dave. Dave. How long you been out here on the west side, Dave? Oh, about six months. Bro, you got to talk a little louder, Dave. About six months. About six months. What you do for a living, Dave? Oh, I'm disabled. Disabled. Mm -hmm. Hey man, why are you squeezing my shoulder, man? I don't like men, bro. Don't uh, get your hand off my shoulder. I'm sorry. All right, nigga, I hold your shoulder, All nigga. Right. I'm squeezing my shit, nigga. All caressing right. me. Fuck around <laughs> with you, nigga. Knock your ass out of here, nigga. All right, guess. so listen, this trap new, this channel 85 new, man. We need we need you to snitch for us right now. What's some bullshit that be going on right here? Uh, I don't I don't hang out here. It's my first day hanging out now. Oh, I usually go down by the park. What park? The one down there past the Kroger. Yeah. Past the Kroger right yeah. there with the statue right yeah, there. Down by the Beltline. Down there by the Beltline by Dunkin' Donuts. Donut, yeah. I ain't never seen you dying that day. You an army vet? Let me see you. Let me see that. Dave, this shit ain't no army vet and shit. Nah, no, this is, uh, you get these down to Ford Park. These aren't original. Mm -hmm. Man, I thought you was in the <laughs> army, man. <laughs> So what did you say? Well, how you get in Forest Park then, Dave? I thought you had that when you went to war, man. Oh, no, I didn't go to war. I was in during peacetime. Oh, you was in during peacetime? Yeah. Are you ready to go to war? Uh-uh, I'm burnt out. You burned out? Yeah, I don't want to go to war. Put your glasses on one time. Yeah. <laughs> Who we voting for this year? I want you to say it with me. Trump on three. One, one two, two, three. Trump. Nigga, say it louder, nigga. You better no. say it louder. Who we vote for this year? One, two, three. Trump. Man, I'll whoop your ass out here, man. I love you, baby. Make America great again. Ain't that right? I love you, baby. Have a good one now. You need anything? Well, I'm short a couple bucks. Oh, I ain't got that, nigga. I, got a pr I can say a prayer for you real quick. That'll work. Sonny. What's your name again, brother? David. David. Lord God, it's me here, Blake the Great. We here in the holy land of Cascade Road in Atlanta, Georgia. And I just want to pray for my man Dave because I've been hearing some things about Dave. Even though this is his first day over here, I heard that he been right here sucking dick. <laughs> now, is that true, Dave? You oh, been no. here sucking dick? No, I don't suck no dick. <laughs> Take the glasses off. Look the camera in the eyes and tell him you don't suck no dick right now. I do not suck dick. Love you, Dave. Blake the Great, man, we out here. Once again, right here on KK, man. You know what time it is, man. This the hood that I grew up in. My hood I love, baby. What's up, OG? Uncle Doc, wake up, baby. Thought you were dead, baby. You know I love you, baby. Listen, man. Hey, man, this my real uncle right here, man. Uncle Doc, man. Real OG, man. Real stand-up guy, man, for life, man. You know what I'm saying? You got anybody you want to shout out, OG? Yeah, um, I'm a, um, I'm my nephew, Ben. That right? And you, B. You know that. How you doing? She doing good, huh? You know I love you, baby. You know what I'm saying? Blake the Great out here in the streets, man. We signing out. Oh, uh, boy, I just called an ambulance for you the other day. You back out here already, baby. Come on, man. Uh, got the bandage on and everything. Uh, got, watch out, Uncle Melvin. Yeah, yeah, we had to get up to the hospital the other day, baby. Look, man, this trap news. This is what I do on the side right here, OG. You know what I'm saying? 
Trap News Channel 85. Man, I need you to do me a favor. I just need, I just need you to sign us out one time, okay? I need you to sign us out. Say, uh, shout out to Trap News. Hold on. Say, <laughs> shout out to Trap News, Back to Bree, and Money Bag in the studio. Shout out to Trap News, Back to Bree, and Money Bag in the studio. Uh. It don't look like Blake too safe out there in these mm -hmm. streets. Uh, thank you, Blake the Great, for that. I guess you can call that news. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of news, <clears throat> Young Jeezy was granted joint custody of his two-year-old daughter with Jeannie Ma. All right. Clap for a black man standing up for his kids. Yeah, he fought for um, <clears throat> that. And he was married, and now it's a broken home. Touche, my nigga, touche. But you know why? Because it wasn't with a black woman. Black oh, my God. Y'all be the first to leave. Nope. Y'all be the that first to leave. That black woman would have held him down a little bit longer. You damn right she would have held him down. No. <laughs> <laughs> would have held him back, too. Yeah, Shit. Shut up. <laughs> well, anyways, um, despite circulating rumors, Jeezy was granted joint custody, which is a win, because Jeannie Ma was fighting for soul custody. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. She was fighting for soul custody. You know, she tried to be like, oh, he had guns. It's like, bitch, it's Jeezy. That nigga had guns when you met him. Come on, it's Dwayne. Dwayne, that is. Jay Wayne. Jay Wayne. Jay Wayne. <laughs> um, they wedded in March 2021, and they share a two-year-old daughter. She is so stinking She looks just cute. like him, too, but that's your child. But she be, you can't even deny that one. On me. You spit her out. Anyways, um, they have sell, settled and sealed other divorce documents. Wait, the former husband and wife do also sealed the other divorce documents. Lisa ain't got no wild ass story like no hell of a child support type shit. They need to do something about child support, bro. Why? Cause the system fucking niggas, man. You mean to tell me, man, the more money I make, the more money I gotta give you? That's some bullshit. It needs to be a set rate. It's supposed to be, I think it's supposed to be like the better life you live, the better life and your I, children's supposed nah, to live. Fuck that. I know you got that. I'm the one working hard. Listen, I know you got them hate my boy, Tyrese. But I don't nigga, hate him. I do not hate him. I do not hate man, him. Man, that man paying so much goddamn money on child support, man, the baby rich. The baby got more money than the mama do. Nah, real talk. That's crazy, bro. Is the system is rigged. Or up. if, or maybe I propose a compromise. Like maybe they lessen it, but the excessive <clears throat> amount goes into like a trust for the child. So it's not just for the baby mom. So maybe it's like a 10 to 15, maybe a for expense, living expenses. And then anything over 15K is going towards trust fund for the kid. I feel like uh, need to be, we need to come to an agreement when babies are made that the daddy signed the paper and say, hey, I want this baby. I don't believe in abortion, but, you know, I feel like... Then you need to believe in condoms. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. If you don't That's why I don't believe in condoms. How you don't believe in condoms or abortions? The two go hand in hand. No, they don't. I'm not trying to kill nobody. I'm not trying to kill what's coming out of me. I'm not trying to kill what's coming out of you. <laughs> well, pull out. I'm not trying to smother either. It's Jesus. It need to be a, a written because you got a lot of men that done told these women, hey man, I don't want, I ain't trying to go that route. And then you do it anyway, and then not a nigga on child support. That's crazy. I think that is crazy. I think if a That's man wild. tell you that he don't want that baby. You, we need to sign a paper. Hey man, it's on, it's on you. I mean, even though y'all laid down and did what y'all did, you know what I'm saying? That's understandable, which... If it, that's the case, then nigga, you got to take care of your responsibility. But if nigga tell you he don't want that shit, come on now. Yeah, you can't be mad when he don't participate. Come on, man. And I, I do feel now like Now you that. ain't shit. Well, I wouldn't shit when we was fucking. There you go. That's what it was. It wasn't shit. Yeah, it never was shit. Okay. <clears throat> Should've known I wasn't shit when they had no come. Go ahead. For sure should have known that. When that I ain't sure, when I ain't sure with Thank the you. rubber. Let's move on. Uh, 50 Cent actually established him, establishes himself as the second largest property owner in downtown Shreveport. You know, he bought the big... Hell yeah, that boy had the big uh, comedy and remedy, what it was, remedy and comedy, that fest down there? Yep, he had that fest. I think it was on the property as well, but yep. 50 Cent has acquired more than 10 properties in the downtown area. His recent investments total over $2.4 million, and they show a vision to revitalize the heart of the city. 50 Cent plans to extend beyond simple real estate holdings. He envisions transforming Shreveport into a vibrant cultural hub with initiates that include creating new environment, entertainment venues, housing projects, and youth programs. I like this. 50 Cent recently inked a deal with Lionsgate to launch a free streaming service as well. The new G-Unit Studios in Shreveport, Louisiana is over 956,000 square feet and will primarily be filming G-Unit films and projects. Hey, 
black man clap for my butt. That's we real black excellence. Wrong. That's black I excellence. I am so proud of that. And I love that it's going to an area like Shreveport because that's such a like underserved area. And, they, and it's a very black city, mm -hmm. too. Because I went to Grambling, which is like Rustin. It's like 45 minutes. You went to Grambling? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like 45 minutes from Shreveport. But down there, it was like they were very like not progress it was black but they wasn't progressive so i feel like bringing money and opportunities and stuff like this into the neighborhood will like elevate them on every level i, I like that hope. that's black excellence it can't do no wrong my eye. yeah well it's a, you're right okay Bree, you're right we hate black men i don't hate black men i just am not like gonna co-sign everything anything blindly probably because her daddy hate niggas too shut up my dad don't hate niggas you don't even know him because i don't know him Okay. I know your dad. I know you do. Anyways, um, the failing Red Lobster names a black man as the new CEO. Just like that. How they going to put us as a black? At, how they going to wait till they fail to name a black man as a CEO? Now, when they when he turned <coughs> this motherfucker around, right, right, right. I don't want to hear shit. Okay, this 35-year-old Nigerian, say his name for The Mola Adu Adamok Loku. Man, fuck that nigga. <laughs> Adamulukin. 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 All right. Has been named Red Lobster's new CEO. Adamulukin comes from a successful stint as the top executive and the first black CEO of the fu Asian fusion restaurant P.F. Chang's. Uh, P.F. Chang's do slap. I fuck P.F. Chang's. I do too, so if he did what he did for them, he could do it for y'all, Red Lobster. Sure can. I like that. Okay, according to the National Restaurant Association, Adamulukin helped generate an ass. ass <laughs> Adam, that's what we should call this nigga. Um, generate an estimated one billion in revenue for PF Chains. Damn. Mm -hmm. So Adam man, Adam Mulican, a former Goldman Sachs investment banker, was hired in May of 2024 after the seafood chain filed for bankruptcy. And years of mismanagement, inflation, and competition led to more than one billion dollars in debt and less than thirty million dollars in cash yeah. on hand for Red Lobster. Somebody stealing some of them. Somebody biscuits. motherfucking stealing. Uh, it's something, that's what it was. Ain't no goddamn way Red Lobster been around that long, y'all. He finna, hey, man, African dude, he finna crank that bitch up. He, get what? Now on the uh, menu for Red Lobster, they gonna have fufu. <laughs> Seafood soup and shit. Seafood food. Seafood food. Um, yeah. Oh, and do you know how you was putting us on good movies? I wanted to tell y'all to go watch The Deliverance. I don't know if y'all seen that. It's an all black, not all black movie, but it was produced by um, Black Lee Daniels. It starred Monique. Had Andre Monique? Andre Day. It's called Monique, a Monique? Mm -hmm. Monique in it. Oh damn. Yeah, it's called a deliverance. You ain't tell all that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Her um her and Lee Daniels did make up and he actually said that he would put her in every movie that he makes from now on. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, that, I like to see them rekindle. That was pretty good. Yeah. Clap on that. And then also they it's kinda like a movie about like Did she get an Oscar for Precious? She should have. You big raggedy bitch. <laughs> you uh -oh. fat nasty bitch. The actress, Andre Day, also said that they had to have a, a real preacher on set with them every day. Who? What? They had a preacher on set with them every day while filming The Deliverance. For what? Because it's a movie about, like, demons and spirits. Well, don't get me started. We finna wrap it on up. It was good. <sighs> it was good. It's a good movie. You should check, mm -hmm. check it out. Anyway, speaking of checking stuff out, come check out 85 South um, Big Business Tour. If you didn't know, they're going to be in Jacksonville October 5th. October 5th, Miami, October 6th. Yep, and then we also got Big Business Tour. They're going to be in Shreveport on October 12th. In Birmingham, October 13th. Birmingham, be here. I know y'all going to pop out and go crazy. Yep, and then... Um, poor soul. Poor soul. It's hey. going to be, I like that. Yeah, ladies. They're going to be at the City Winery. When they going to be there? September 21st. September, hosted by my boy Nav Green. Huh? Shout out to Nav. Okay. And then I'm going to be at Uptown Comedy Club on um, October 10th. So and grab your tickets. I'm going to be at tickets. Atlanta Comedy Theater November 10th. Pull up on me. Headline. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Headline. 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 Yeah, pull up. We hey, out here in these streets. Pull up on us at one of the shows if you fuck with us. Yeah, man. All right, well, that's been it for tonight. That's all the news I got to when you got anything else. Then you have some breaking news you said.
Oh yeah, I ain't get to send what it. What you said? What you said? Let me see. What the breaking news is? We gotta send it to. I gotta send it to. Um. <clears throat> Just tell us. They gonna put it in post. God damn! I'm we trying to talk Shamar to. We found Shamar Daddy. We found who Daddy? Shamar Daddy. The nigga who be? Yeah, Shamar. <laughs> Let's see. You he found right. his daddy. Let's take a look. Yeah. Okay, well, you was a goddamn fool. Mm -hmm. I don't know where the fuck you been in when you find people like that. <laughs> that boy ugly hell, baby. <laughs> I ain't gonna talk about people because I ain't had kids yet, and you know what they say. You ain't had your kids yet, you don't need to call nobody ugly. <clears throat> anyway, that's all the news we got for tonight in the trap. That's been Trap News. I'm Bri Renee straight from the A. And this your boy, Money Bag. Fellas, be a good dad. That way your son won't end up a. <laughs> A Thank gay you. Ass bitch. <laughs> 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 Thank you and good night. Crab news. Crab news run up on Just a white head. Nigga, I'll run up on a bitch too. See about me, channel 85. Bitch. I ain't mad, bitch.